an exciting day. Today is our first baptism Sunday. We got, I think, about eight people getting baptized. So it's uh, pretty cool. I just, I just wanted to remind, I just wanted to remind everyone, you know, what baptism represents. Obviously, in this church, and you know, biblically, you know, baptism is only for believers. We don't baptize children because children don't believe. If they do believe, then that's fine. We baptize them. So the Bible says, if thou believest with all thy heart, thou mayest. So baptism, just want to remind everyone, it does not save. It does not, does not wash away sin. That's why Jesus was baptized. It's just to fulfill obedience. And it just spiritually or physically represents the death, burial, and resurrection. And that's why we baptize by immersion. So today we're going to baptize some of the believers here. And I uh, just wanted to remind everyone those two things. What it represents, it represents the, the death, standing up, the burial, is they go under the water, and the resurrection. And it is only symbolic of uh, salvation. It is, does not save. It has no power to wash away sin. Uh, it is the first step of obedience. I'm excited that people are willing to fulfill the, uh, the commandment of the Lord. So if the people that are getting baptized, if they just want to come up here, get everyone that's getting baptized today. Uh, I'll do, we'll do the kids first. Everyone come out to inside to see everyone. on the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart and through him do you believe you have everlasting life? Alright, Matthias, my brother, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. of his death.
and my sister, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Do you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart? Do you believe that through him you have everlasting life? No? Right, Anastasia, my sister, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Stephanie, do you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart and through him alone you have everlasting life? All right, Stephanie, my sister, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. So we can hang out now. I'll send some of the guys to pick up the pizzas from Rache's. And uh, then we'll eat. Why don't we pray together before we break? Okay. All right, let's pray. All right, dear Lord, thank you so much for today. 
Uh, we thank you so much that as a church, it's such a blessing for us and it's such a blessing for myself to be able to uh, baptize these uh, precious brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray, Lord, that today marks the day where they would uh, make that decision to spend their pounds and talents wisely. Uh, Lord, help us all. We all need help in your grace to serve you as we ought. And we love you. We pray in Jesus' name.